grooming new talent. I would like to know, you know, what are the, 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 the key things you look at if you, you look at the young people joining you and rising through the ranks? What are the metrics that, uh, that you use also personally and within your team that you say, okay, that could be a potential CEO of whatever sector or CEO international um, or whatever department you're looking at? So it, it starts out with, first of all, you've got to be a good performer, which means from a day-to-day -day perspective, accomplish your tasks and also uh, do well. That's not enough. You also then have to exhibit the entrepreneurialism, the culture of being able to work as a team member, both as leading a team as well as collaborating with a team, the ability to work through a matrix. And we assess and we've got... Um, training programs for people that join us and we assess them in multiple dimensions. And then it's a process of elimination. And uh, the best will rise to the top and then we continue to nurture them and we continue to give them new, new opportunities. And I'd say, you know, it's they evolve as they go through this journey as well. And I'm a byproduct of training. And if I look at myself, I started out as a financial management program, then went on to the uh, General Electric audit staff, then from there was selected in different roles. And I think um, I try and mimic what I went through really as the way in which we groom and also nurture talent within Baker Hughes.